Hello, this is Mike Fry, Product Marketing Manager with Omron Automation and Safety. Today I'm going to show our new F3SG Global Safety Light Curtain and how to set it up. And with that, you get a case that's about 27 pounds. It's fairly easy to handle, but it is, like I said, 27 pounds, so it's somewhat heavy, so it's a two-handed operation. But the purpose of this video today is to show how easy and quick it is to set this up. So with that said, I want to show you what it looks like when you receive these. I will be sending these out to the field to all of our account managers, and this is what you will get when you open the box. So you get this slide that I'll show you where, where it goes in a little bit. And you will also get an arm like this. This is our smart muting actuator. I'll show you where that goes. And then this is what the demo will look like. So we will put it out like this. Also in here, you're going to see some um, cables, and these cables are designed to, to integrate the global light curtain with a PC through a USB port that you see here. So the software for that will be coming out in about another month, and when that happens, it will be free. You will be able to download that off our website or my dashboard. So I will be informing you when that's available and then you can do some more configurations with uh, the software. With that said, let me get this out of the way and I want to show you how to set this up. You have these little push buttons and what you do, they're locked, so you want to push those to allow them to come off or come down and what you do here is you have this that comes down and then there's another release on the back that allows it to come down. With this smart muting actuator you insert it into the extruded aluminum and then you just attach the cable like this with our smart click connectors and you'll hear the distinct click and then basically this is the setup for the uh, safety light curtain. Now that we have the demo assembled I want to show you how to connect or attach the tray. So there's a hole in this portion and there's a plug here and basically all we do is just plug it in like that and you're ready to go. Now I want to add the power so you can see the indications and uh, what will happen if, if you break the beam, you're going to send the output off. This uh, red indicator means machine stop. So remember, this is the safe area. Over on this side is the hazard area where the machine would be. So when I, if I reach through, it's going to break the beam, it's going to shut the machine off, and then it's safe. So what I would like to do is show you the red is the machine stop, then this amber is a muting indicator, and then the reset is blue. Of course, we have our power on and power off. And then here you're going to see this is our muting lamp. So let's go to the next step and show you exactly how the muting works. Uh, here is like a, a box coming through and it's going slowly through and now you can see that we have two muting indicators, the one on the panel and the one on the light curtain. The reason we have two here is because sometimes uh, not everybody's going to want to use the, the muting lamp on the receiver of our light curtain. They might just have a muting lamp in the panel. So again, we go through, there's your muting, I can break, the, the, the light curtain is off, so I, nothing's going to happen until the package gets through, and then when it gets through, if I come in here and stick my hand, you're going to shut the machine down. Now I want to talk about the indicators on the smart muting actu actuator, which is the F3W-MA. What we have here are the two blue, indicator, the two blue indicators that show uh, alignment and then we have a stability indicator that shows you everything is stable. And remember that on the receive side of the F3SG light curtain, it's the same setup. They have a bottom and top blue indicator with a stability. So you always want to check that when you're setting these up to make sure this has not jostled or moved out of alignment. And if it is, then you would just take a, a set screw and loosen it up and adjust it to make sure your indications are aligned. And now what I'm going to do is show you that when we do mute, you're going to have muting A illuminated, and then you're going to go to muting B. And now it's in the muting actuation phase. And now I want to show where the dip switches are located on the smart muting actuator, which is right here, which is where we're zoomed in. And some of the functionality on these are you can change the scan code selection, which is the modulation frequency of the emitter. 
Uh, the operation mode, which will do uh, chattering, uh, which we're going to discuss in the next video, uh, or anti-chattering, excuse me. And then there's a dip switch for off delay and uh, muting enable and uh, trigger beams. So we'll talk about that in future videos, but I just want to show you where these dip switches are. And again, on the, receipt, on the transmitter side, uh, they have a few dip switches there too. And now that you know where the dip switches are, remember these are IP67, the light curtains and the muting actuators, so we want to ensure that we would tighten these uh, locking screws down so that uh, if there's any splashdown or any water, uh, the water will not penetrate and short out the, the smart muting actuator. Now I want to discuss some of the documentation that is inside the kit. Uh, we have uh, a quick installation manual, which is here, and then we have four different languages for uh, the, safety, uh, the safety precautions, and then we also have some documentation on the F39LP, which is that safety muting lamp. Also what we have is we have QR codes, and I'm going to use an example for the French. Say that uh, the manufacturer is building a machine and it's being shipped to France. Um, that manufacturer could take this QR code sticker and stick that code to the side of the machine and when the machine lands in France um, and there, if there is an issue with the light curtain, for instance there's a certain order of uh, indicators blinking showing that there's an issue, if somebody had a smartphone or a tablet they could link on that uh, QR code scan it and it would take them to the website, the Omron website that would help that person troubleshoot the problem in French. And if they decided they needed to download the manual, they could do that on that website too and that would also be in French. So this is why we truly call this a global light curtain because it can be used anywhere in the world and it's uh, very easy with different, to understand what the uh, capabilities are in all the different languages. In conclusion, I'd like to uh, briefly go over what we talked about earlier. Remember, it's very important that this, the stability indicator is on with the blue uh, top and bottom indicators for alignment. So you want to make sure these are aligned and you want to make sure the smart muting actuators are aligned. Um, also, I will be sending a PDF of the smart muting actuator manual to everybody I send these uh, demos to, so you'll have that information. And remember, these are currently not available. These are pre-production units for the smart muting actuators, and those will be coming out in the near future. So with that said, I think you can be able to set this up in about a minute to two minutes and present this to a customer with very little trouble. Thank you very much.